Hi guys, I'm Natasha. I'm gonna show you my preparation for red carpet look. This primer makes skin matte. It takes the shine away. That's why I'm applying only around the nose and the cheeks here on the forehead and on my chin because I like to keep the shine on, on my cheekbones. I'm gonna apply foundation all over my face and I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever stick. It's very easy to use. I'm gonna apply also on my ears because they are very red. Don't want to have red ears. I learned it on the set how to do my makeup and also on the backstage of the shows. Different makeup artists use different tricks, so I picked up a lot of those. So after my foundation, I use um, this Saint Laurent Concealer Radiant Touch. Oh, and sometimes I like to do it here. <laughs> the crease of my wrinkle to take it away. And then I'm um, mixing it up together with Laura Mercer concealer. And the reason why I'm mixing up those things together because this is like really dry and Saint Laurent pan it's quite liquidy so it's very nice texture together. After all that is done I'm taking my favorite big brush, super soft. And then I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I make the arch here and make them a little bit longer because my own is a little bit short and I'm brushing it off a little bit so it looks more natural and I start always with the line under here and then go into the arch after I'm done I'm always using the eyebrow gel so they don't move around next thing my favorite the contouring under my cheekbones I like to use the powder version of uh, contouring because it's easier to blend with the brushes. Shaping with contour definitely helps on the red carpet because that makes the, the neck longer and the, the jawline stronger. So whenever the strong flushes comes in, it makes perfect shape. I love it. <laughs> My favorite thing. Eyes. I'm gonna uh, set the base with the lighter shade. And then I'm gonna make the crease darker. So I'm shaping my eye before I'm doing the eyeliner. Then I'm gonna curve my lashes. Now I'm gonna use black pencil by Hourglass. Super, super, super thin. So I'm gonna draw a line in between my eyelashes all the way from here to the end. So I messed up my eye a little bit here. And I always travel with the, uh, the whole box of Q-tips because in the hotels, for some reason, they don't have enough of those if you do the makeup. Ta-da! It's empty already. Take the pencil again, and I'm gonna draw three dots. This is the beginning. The next dot I'm gonna do here, and the third dot here. And then I'm gonna connect all the dots Together. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and then that way I'll see the balance that it's not going all the way crazy. Now I'm gonna use the liquid eyeliner and shake it, shake it. And eyeliner is done. Now mascara. I always let it dry. When it's too wet, then eyelashes go down. And yeah, that's my little trick. I decided to start doing makeup for the events myself because I guess I was not so happy with the makeup artist. <laughs> and I like a lot. I love makeup. It's like my, my sort of therapy. Now I'm gonna use the bronzer. I really like this Givenchy bronzer with the big brush. And I'm gonna apply on the top of the contour, on the cheekbone, around the face, get this glamorous summer look. If I'm wearing a dress, I'm applying uh, the bronzer also on the collarbone and on the neck and also on the shoulders. And then I also use a little bit of the blush. I really like this Orgasm by Nars. And just in the middle here. Now I'm gonna move up to my lips. Today I'm just gonna do just pencil. 
just also easier a lot of times. <laughs> and it doesn't move, it stays. One more thing, I forgot about a little bit of the highlight. To finish up, a little touch of a setting powder. And my last step, I'm just gonna fix my hair and I'm ready to go. So that's it, hair and makeup done. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I'm gonna go dress up.